All right, listen. I have this ex-friend who I hate now, and he still has my goddamn laptop. Go get it from him and tell him if he doesn't let you have it, I'm calling the fucking cops. His name is Tweak. You'll probably find him at his parents' coffee house. How are those taste tests coming, son? I can't even taste the difference anymore! Well, keep sampling. We need to come up with the perfect sunset blend. What's this? Give me my fucking laptop. Oh, you work for him, huh? Well, you can go back and tell him he can have his laptop back when I get my fucking guinea pig back! We bought it when we were together, but Stripe is mine! I paid for him, and I have the receipt! You think it's right for him to keep Stripe while he's the one who didn't stand up for me? You tell him that! Well, what did Tweak say about my laptop? The fucking guinea pig? Uh, fine. You know where Stripe's cage is. Go get him and give him to that fucking asshole. When you give that to Tweak, you make sure he knows that when you walk out on someone, you don't get to make up the rules anymore. Hello, welcome to Tweak Coffee. What can I interest you in today? Oh, he finally decided to be reasonable, huh? Fine. Here's his stupid laptop. Oh, hello, uh, new kid, right? Listen, I see you're really trying hard to get my son and his boyfriend back together, and, well, I so appreciate it. Having a gay son is really good for the coffee business. I think all they need is a little relationship counseling. Could you give this to Craig? Maybe together we can both help them out, huh? Where is it? Counseling? Tweak wants me to go to counseling with him? No way. Tell him there's no way I'll go to counseling unless you go too. I need my support team. What's this? Relationship counseling? Craig? Are you shitting me? Well, fine, I'll do it. As long as you're there. You seem to be able to get him to think rationally. Okay, new kid. Apparently Tweak and Craig have agreed to some counseling together. Okay. Could you meet us at the school? Thank you. Hey, new kid, come on in and have a seat. Okay, apparently we're having a little quarrel. Okay. Craig and Tweak have agreed to some counseling as long as you're present, new kid. Okay, so, uh, now, Craig, what do you, what do you want to say to Tweak? I think he has some stuff he should say to me. Okay, okay, Tweak, you want to start, maybe? I have nothing to say if that's his attitude. Okay, okay, well, maybe, uh, new kid, maybe you should share some of your thoughts. Okay, well, this isn't really going that well. Um, okay, boys, I want to do an exercise with you. Uh, I have some kids here to help us out. When we're trying to have some therapy, the first thing we need to do is is take out our resentments, okay? So, uh, let, let's have our resentments come out. Come on out over, come over, resentment. Okay, and then in any relationship, we also have expectations, okay? Because expectations lead to resentment, which, of course, brings about accusations. Come on out, accusations, okay? And then that all, of course, leads to victimization and withdrawal. Now, you've got to learn to overcome all of these things, okay? Are you ready? Are you ready? Go fuck them up! There they are, right there, Tweak and Craig. Go, go beat the shit out of them! You too, new kid! Expectations doesn't go down that easy. There's always more expectations! Oh, oh God! Ah! You boys have to work together if you're going to eliminate all of those expectations, okay? Wait, he's right. Huh? We're only going to get rid of these expectations and everything else if we do it together. Craig! Yeah, let's do it, Craig! Don't you feel better? Yeah, I kinda do. Me too. Okay, well just come back anytime you need counseling, okay? That's uh that's it. Thanks for all your help, new kid. Yeah, fuck you, expectations. Thanks, new kid. We have a lot of work to do, but I think we both want to do it now. Come on, Craig! I'll get you your laptop. It's our laptop, Tweak. New kid? Yeah, uh, so it turns out gender is actually a little more uh complicated than what we talked about yesterday, huh? Okay, um, could you come back to my office so we could sort this out, maybe, huh? Okay, thanks, okay. Oh, great, thanks for coming, have a seat. Now, I got some, uh, 
some feedback from the principal that uh, our discussion about sex, I, I mean about gender, wasn't uh, precise enough. And, uh, well, he, he gave me some guidelines how to do a more uh, uh, thorough pass, helping you identify your gender. Okay. Is the gender that you were assigned with at birth the gender that you currently identify with? Okay. Okay, great. So as you know, that means that you're cisgendered. Okay, great. Now, the next thing I want to talk to you about with your gender is your sexuality. Now, a lot of people think that gender and sexuality are the same, but no, that's bi. That's wrong. It's bi. Okay. Now, how would you describe the sex of the kinds of people you find yourself, uh, sexually attracted to? Okay, so that makes you straight or heterosexual, okay. Well, I'm really glad we had this talk, okay? Just be careful, okay, because there's, there's a lot of people out there who don't accept you for what you are, and then you're going to have to deal with them, okay? So, uh, but come see me anytime. Hey, it's that boy! Yeah, they're cisgender! And they're heterosexual, too. We don't take kindly to your types around here. Let's welcome this thing to our town. Here comes the sizzle. He <laughs> fight the good fight, human hot. I hope someone got that on video. Sarge said you helped us out yesterday. Wanted me to see if you'd help us out on another case today. I think you can do some real good in this town, kid, but you gotta learn to play by the rules. Hello there, welcome to the soft room. I'm a friendly detective. What's your name? No problem, just let me know if you need to sit down and talk things out. So exactly why are you wandering around the police station? Do you have information about who's behind the big crime wave in South Park? I understand how this attention must be scary for you. You know what else is scary? Choking on Jared's $5 footlong. <laughs> I wrote that myself. I actually do stand-up on the weekends. Here's my headshot. You know, with this crime wave, I'm looking for work. You take my headshot around town, and I'll let you see what's in my bottom drawer here in my desk. Want to see what's in my bottom drawer? Huh? Where's that smile? Go ahead, get my headshot out there and I'll give you a treat. I haven't uh, heard anything yet, but I'm sure it's only a matter of time till those talent agents are calling me up. Anyway, here, I told you I'd show you what was in my bottom drawer. Well, here it is. Hey, little crime stopper, back for more? I got something you might be interested in. Turns out that scum you fucked up is just the low guy on the totem pole. Thanks for letting me hold your phone to show you this. He's hiding out in some big luxury mansion bought with blood money, scumbag. This is a whole nother level, little crime fighter. His house is like a fortress. Every window and door is wired to a state-of-the-art, high-tech security system. You'll need this. This mobile hacking device will help you bypass the security system. Maybe it's our lucky day, superhero. Looks like the guard is on a piss break or something. Proceed past the gate and around the back to find an entry point. Not this time, sir. Not this time. Please move the fuck along or I will fuck you up non-lethally. I will beat you until my shift is over, sir. Don't be fooled by his attempts at upper middle class sensibility. Oldest trick in the book. Careful with this one, hero. He's got a temper on him. Choose your moment now. Hey, who the hell are you? You can't just break in here. Engage! Go, go, go! Brilliant work, hero. You're really getting into the program. You understand exactly what we're doing, and you're doing it right along with us. Meet me back at the station. I've got something for you. 